good afternoon good afternoon to one and all uh, my name is uh, k palanivel uh, working as a systems analyst at pondicherry university pondicherry you know uh, one of the famous central university in india and uh, before that first of all i would like to thank uh, dr nimai chan shaga uh, for giving an opportunity to interact with uh, a library professional through online i really thank sir uh shall i say move to my lectures yes sir sure okay and today just i am going to give some information about uh, that is uh, what are all the various web technologies and uh, website creation tools are available uh, uh, with respect to all domains not only the library domain in all domains okay and in another uh, just uh, one and a half hours uh, i will give brief introduction to library technologies and what are all the various uh, website technologies and uh, various uh, website creation tools are available freely and uh, with money etc and uh, how can we create personal websites using with these tools and followed by the questions okay and before that just a minute and uh, since uh, we are all from a uh, library professional and uh, we are supposed to know about uh, the library and its various uh, activities okay and when you are talking about uh, library evolutions and uh, people come to know that uh, library means this can be classified into academic libraries which are available or installed in various educational institution and the research libraries okay public libraries and special libraries one thing, one thing. can you please uh, show your whole screen uh, presentation slides slides show slides okay sir is it okay now yes sir it's fine it's fine ah yes please. okay sir and uh, so whatever the library is available or classified but most of the libraries or almost all the libraries they have to continue to adapt the changing needs so the world the entire world is even classrooms entire nation they are keep on changing because of technologies so in a similar manner libraries they have to incorporate whatever the technologies available whatever the emerging technologies available they have to identify what is the best technology suitable to library okay and how we can incorporate this emerging technologies in library in terms of various library operations and expanding digital collections today's a lot of collections are available and what are all the various library services add on services okay everything you should provide because library they are acting as a community hubs for education research and various cultural activities and when you are talking about libraries uh, people are uh, talking about sir this is my library is enabled mobile library because they are accessing whatever the materials available e journals available they are accessing through mobile and some people uh, uh, are telling about our library is smart library okay so students they can go and pick the book and uh, wherever the machines are available you just show in front of go there and just show the books okay show your id cards so whatever the books they want to take that will be uh, 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 the, that information will be added in the library management software like this and uh, apart from this nowadays a lot of people lot of researchers are working towards that is moving towards from library that is smart library to precision library and wisdom library etc so precision means you have to provide more accuracy data more accuracy results etc everything should be in time and when you are talking about a wisdom library lot of knowledge resources should be incorporated in the library so in general we can say all are coming under digital libraries so digital library is nothing but which consists of lot of web pages or they are called as internet sites 
okay so these web pages have been used for the creation and the preservation of collections the collection could be anything e journals e books e theses okay nowadays lot of magazines are available through e formats like this so all will come under in addition to whatever the documents you are scanning and converting into e formats that is also okay and the digital library they holds other kinds of materials okay and the library members what they can do they can access these materials through whatever the websites given by the concern organization okay or through web pages today we can say our library is web based because complete all the informations are available all the informations are stored in the uh, web server and cloud based of course the software that web server is available in the cloud and the online etc etc everything is available in different names and when you are talking about the e resource i already told so e resource that is whatever the informations that the information could be e books e theses e journals e magazine e documents in addition to uh, learning materials like uh, audio video pictures animated pictures etc all the informations have been collected and loaded in the web server so and we don't know where this informations were available were stored okay so in this case as a front end the users need some kind of search and discovery tools so using these tools they have to give some data that is metadata or some keywords okay so based on the key they can retrieve the data and it will be showed in their whatever the devices they are using and these devices interacted with the responsive user interfaces for whatever the digital books resources retrieved from the servers and in addition to whatever the data retrieved in one formats okay so that format is converted into another formats that is electronic data interchange okay and it could be accessible whatever the devices they are using so the overall activities in general we can say about in library automations okay and uh, when you are talking about a library so they are providing lot of services and when you are talking about a, a website okay and uh, you just think about what are all the various audio video preservation services digital media services digital collection services digital preservation service services discovery services okay in addition to technology services because everything is going to be happen through sense the technology okay even when you are talking about technology that is sensor technology networks technology okay and even if you want to log in through far away that is remote login uh, services and in addition to computers and printer for taking print out purposes etc and when you are talking about a library environments okay so lot of technologies and devices have been used so some of them are mobile technologies so people will know come to know and uh, privacy protection tools of course so whatever the information stored in the library server okay it should be protected otherwise lot of viruses adware malware everything will come so we need a, a privacy protection tools and iot so today people are talking about iot so iot is, is nothing but say a device which capture the information and a straight away send to the cloud okay then rfid device it's this kind of uh, sensors which are uh, uh, incorporated in the uh, uh, in the books okay and whatever the uh, uh, binding materials available everything okay in all everywhere these devices will be incorporated yeah. Yeah. and another thing is today people are talking about artificial intelligence when you are saying about artificial intelligence is not a single technology so it is a group of technology so people are talking about uh, artificial means artificial machine learning deep learning and augmented reality and virtual reality so so library website they can incorporate incorporate these technologies and providing some kind of that is intelligent services so in addition to bots and automations and uh, i don't know how many of you you have experience when you are uh, visiting some pages 
in the pages it will come automatically some pop ups will come and it will ask what do you want what services you need from like that so these are all is nothing but soft bot is is nothing but some kind of a robo enabled activities okay so when you are automating so this information should be incorporated of course machine learning applications so machine learning applications is nothing but when you are talking about a machine learning so the decision should be taken on behalf of the users okay on behalf of the administrator say if you uh, when you are talking about a library a smart library if your user is coming entering picking the book and uh, uh, going to kiosk a library kiosk that is a, what is it a, uh, uh, what is it um, uh, returns kiosk or a issue kiosk so the the uh, once they move into the kiosk okay the information so whatever the information with them it should be automatically taken and uh, immediately the whatever the transaction and it should be uploaded in the servers and whatever the uh, transaction taken that should be completed within 2 to 3 seconds then only it is perfect otherwise people will come and they they, they will take the book and go away so the that uh, transaction will not will not be happen in the servers or in the transaction will not be updated in the servers like that so machine learning means the network should be very pakka and the whatever the transaction it should be done within 2 to 3 seconds like when you are uh, doing bank transactions and you are getting the otp okay in the similar way it should uh, done within 2 to 3 seconds and digital humanities enabler okay and digital repositories okay a lot of information and to put it in the server and the visualization in discovery systems so whatever the uh, the information you want to discover or you want to retrieve and it should be available in the visualization manners and the linked open data that is linking from one server to another servers like this and the embeddedness learning interoperability okay and the special co collection etc etc okay and link to rot verb archiving distributed web so distributed web means one website is linked with another so today people are talking about cloud that is multi clouds okay so one cloud offering some kind of information another cloud offering some some kind of information and you have to link these two cloud so this is this is almost the concepts of distributed web and when you are talking about a uh, web okay especially uh, uh, you are supposed to know uh, know about the web server technologies okay and uh, web server when you are talking about when web server uh, almost web server is nothing but a normal server only so whatever the servers installed okay the say the uh, um, uh, uh, general purpose whatever you are using the same server but in addition to we are adding something so what we are adding something we will see in the next one and uh, uh, the second one is that is automation so when you are automate various library operations through some kind of softwares today people are talking about lipsys and koha so these are all the most famous uh, library management uh, automation technologies okay so whatever the information available you just uh, make an entry in the servers and uh, make it available to the users through online and a web, web web technology which comprises of uh, web servers web server and web pages okay so web server is nothing but a normal kind of server but in this server web softwares like internet information services apache zamp lamp etc so these are all the web server and it should be installed on the normal server okay and it should be properly configured and once if you properly configure then the normal server will become as the web server okay so for your i will uh, even if you have any windows 10 machines if you are sitting uh, on uh, that is windows 10 machines uh, just uh, if you spend 2 to 3 minutes your uh, normal laptop will become as a web server by configuring internet uh, information service okay so in uh, then then what information you want to uh, convey to the users okay so e books or e journals whatever the information or any audio or video okay so everything okay it should be converted into 
web page formats and this web pages will be stored in the internet information service that is web server okay internet information service or a web portal server and this web portal servers okay it might be installed in the normal or general servers okay and uh, to do things to interact with the uh, web technologies or web uh, pages etc etc there are a lot of technologies are available and if we, and if we can incorporate these technologies in addition to web technologies so some of the technologies we will see one by one in general we can say so this is the browsers the students the faculty or the library users okay whatever they are using browsers okay uh, the browsers so available in their mobile desktop laptop or what whatever may be and they are accessing the website okay so you know there is a domain name whatever they say gov.in whatever yahoo.com or gmail.com so these are all name domain name and these domain names have been integrated with the web server and we don't know where the server is available okay so when you are talking about your premises at least you can you can able to see but when you are talking about gmail yahoo and all we don't know where the server is available we know only the website name so like this so the clients are keep on activating the servers it's keep on uploaded keep on download that is uh, upload and download and the web pages it is keep on generated so whenever a student success okay the information stored in the database which has been retrieved and forwarded to the on sent to the users and the users they can view the information through the browsers installed on their laptop mobiles etc okay and lot of technologies have been okay lot of advanced technologies we are talking about next generation library and you are supposed to know about these technologies and uh, how these technologies are going to affect the impact the next generation libraries so one of the technologies of course people you come to know that is a big data okay so the libraries are collecting lot of informations everybody is know digital collection whatever the precious books are available everything they are converting into digital formats you just imagine the keep on the increasing con amount of data okay so the data is available in audio formats video formats picture format even animated pictures okay and uh, not all informations are stored in one servers okay they may be uh, different servers in the same locations okay how and uh, what technologies which is going to handle this much amount of informations okay and in when you are talking about uh, big data and uh, i will say one uh, interesting matter okay so in general people are talking about big data big data but if you ask any person the person who is talking about big data sir what is the size of big data if you raise the question almost they will keep quiet because when you are talking about uh, say, say for example when you are going to shop you are buying some material okay uh, maybe in terms of kg or when you are going to buy uh, cloth in terms of meter but when you are talking about big data if you ask what is the size almost everybody will quiet because they could not able to answer okay but we are in the world of almost whatever your computers your laptop okay uh, you can say sir my computers i installed 8 gb ram 16 gb ram gb gigabytes okay and when you are talking about hard disk people are talking about sir 1 tb hard disk 2 tb hard disk okay correct but when you are talking about big data okay so the informations suppose if you purchased a server okay at, and you installed the software and software can handle more than 10 tb of data in a fraction of seconds then we can say it is a pakka big data server okay so 10 tb means in terms of not only the data in terms of documents audio video pictures everything it should it should be handled even the ram should be in terms of terabytes okay so if this much 
suppose if you install big data only then you can able to allow billions of people millions of users to access one information through web okay that's one and second one is today people are talking about a blockchain technology okay so when you are talking about blockchain ultimately this is is going to protect the systems even when you are talking about uh, say for instance uh, uh, you take the, uh, some example say i am taking the book okay and going out suppose if i missed that book and there is a possibility whatever the data stored in the server there is a possibility to delete the data it is possible but if you installed a blockchain technology so blockchain means is a group of people are accessing group of people are allowing to create the information group of people are allowed to update the information so you can't update the data within a single person okay so person 1 person 2 person 3 if all people are logging then only they can able to do a small transaction so ultimately even if i miss the book if even if i ask someone to sir sir something you do something it is not at all possible because i have to manage all the three people like that a software has been created a technology has been created so with the software we can minimize almost all theft related uh, misinformation everything we can pro protect in terms of 99.99 percentage okay and of course you need when you are talking about a blockchain of course you need uh, uh, people with uh, knowledge in blockchain and etc etc and another technology today people are talking about ai that is artificial intelligence so which is going to completely revamp completely changing our uh, uh, working platforms our uh, home platform everything is going to uh, change because of introduction of chatbots uh, robots drones etc so all this they are working in the principles of artificial intelligence so when you are talking about libraries so ultimately so what is the best solution available to criteria one physically challenged people and criteria two sir i am in the hostel okay why should i come to library is there any provision is available okay to take the book through online so in this case when you are talking about so you are supposed to consider the artificial intelligence um uh, robotics and uh, drones etc etc okay and uh, another one is that is uh, virtual reality and uh, augmented reality so these are all provide immense learning experience and you come to know that is uh, augmented uh, that is virtual reality means in the physical device uh, in the physical uh, infrastructure so i am sitting here but i can able to realize what is happening in other what is happening uh, in kasi or varanasi or what is happening in uh, hyderabad like that so some special kind of uh, glasses will be available after wearing that video will run automatically that is virtual reality but augmented reality so i am sitting here okay but yeah, one elephant may come and stand behind okay one elephant one even one tiger will come and stand behind you just imagine the situation so this is nothing but augmented reality so these two go, uh, technologies are going to uh, use uh, what is it uh, uh, education purpose definitely and uh, um, these technologies with the help of these uh, technologies and uh, we can do anything virtual so uh virtual in terms of tours like a historical sites etc etc okay and a third uh, another technology which is called uh, internet uh, internet of things so people are uh, generally talking about iot and iot almost closely uh, working in the principles of uh, rfid so here rfid uh, which is nothing but a small chips which is incorporated in the book okay but when you are talking about uh, iot this is also uh, incorporated in your uh, uh, books or uh, your mobile etc etc but iot they collect the information and transfer to the cloud whereas library 
which collect the information and transfer to some devices. So uh, as a users, as the administrator, they have to read the data, whatever the data captured by RFID, and it should be moved into the uh, cloud or some kind of automation software required from a local to cloud, etc. These are the technologies. Of course, another technologies people are talking about apps. Okay, so the moment when you are talking about library or special library or whatever library and whatever the services you are introducing, even uh, book issuing, book returning, etc., etc. Okay, so through remote place. Okay, what do you have to? You can uh, download the apps. Okay, and uh, by giving the user ID password. Okay, you can access the library uh, or virtual library or a, uh, a digital library, smart library, you can access and whatever the transaction you want, you can do. So of course, for everything you need, uh, that is, uh, what is it, uh, client applications. Okay, so the another technology people are talking about the cloud computing, of course, if you install cloud on your server, then you can say it is a cloud server. Okay, in the cloud, we don't know. So when you're talking about the web, I can say it is meant for only the web. But when you are talking about the cloud, it is consists of a set of services, not only a single services. It may provide a web services. It may provide a automation services, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Everything they are integrating, okay, and they integrate and they make it available in one device. That is optimal use for library resources, infrastructure, human resources, etc. And mainly it is used for library automation and a quick data search. Of course, powerful tools are available. And when you are studying about a cloud, and uh, of course you are supposed to know about uh, that is software as a service, application as a service, infrastructure as a service. Okay, so infrastructure means whatever the infrastructure like your server, your switch, okay, and uh, any other, everything will be in one layer. Okay, on top, whatever the softwares, maybe the library management software, Lipsys, Koha, on top available. After that, the software, what is the software required to access this Koha server or Lipsys services? Okay, in the software uh, as a services, I can say that apps. Okay, so the users can download the apps and install. So cloud is going to uh, is completely change our working environments like this. So everything virtual manners. And another technologies, so people are talking about, that is the, even uh, I, I, even I could not see this uh, technology, which is called uh, 3D printers. So whatever you are using, um, uh, that is uh, the digital printers, okay? And you can be able to see there is a paper, okay? So there is a paper and some information have been printed. But when you're talking about the, the printer, when you're talking about a 3D printer, say for example, so I want to uh, print a device like this, okay, in the same manner, okay? It is available in the 3D formats. So I need some such kind of printer. So if I print the complete model, the 3D model, the size, the colors, everything will be available as a product. Okay, so the because of this only, so whatever we are studying, we realized, we come across everything. Okay, so this is also complete is going to change our uh, uh, our working environments, even um, working cultures. Okay, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And whatever you are designing, okay, everything you can see and you can print like this. And another important thing is that is a machine learning. Uh, I have already told when you are uh, discussing about artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence is not a single, it is a, a set of uh, technologies. And one of the technologies is machine learning. Okay, so in the presently uh, what people are accessing uh, through sound and image recognition, these are the technologies have been used. But today, okay, that machine learning, so which is going to use to analyze whatever the digital collections, okay? Identify the topics, uh, entities, and assign metadata. So, 
so definitely library professional they must work with ml technologies to enhance the classification of schemes and to improve the search and recall say for example if you install a machine learning approach in a robo okay so the robo what it will do it will go and scan the books whatever the books okay and even if you take the manpower they can able to read one book maybe 2 to 3 seconds but if you take the robo they can scan the information hundreds book information in fraction of seconds okay and uh, scan the information and read it okay and according to do they will react so even in futures the lot of books uh, students may be return all the books may be put in in a bin okay if you send the robo the robo will scan and uh, take the book and they have been classified according to whatever the classification you give maybe management related books arts related books science related books even civil engineering mechanical like that it will completely classify the books and uh, another thing is uh, which is also already told that is a uh, drones okay so drones can be used to uh, to uh, deliver the book and today uh, even when you are talking about uh, e business e commerce uh, 10 years back back uh, people think about uh, uh, e commerce means what is e commerce and how they will deliver the uh, uh, material and how i have to pay the money etc etc but today lot of people okay they are uh, uh, opening the mobile and uh, searching amazon.in or flipkart and uh, choose the uh, what is it uh, items okay and uh, placing the orders so uh, the, after that they are paying online that is one mode or other mode uh, after seeing the material they are paying okay so that is delivery so delivery as a services become uh, um, part of the automation so in this case we are talking about other side we can be incorporate drones for delivery of the books so maybe some books okay so they can uh, uh, that, that is a library users uh, the after opening the app and they can identify they can search the books and this is the books i want so kindly send and to this address okay what it will do the uh users uh, the library professional they go and pick up the books okay and load it on the drones and send to the, the users so in this way we can allow drones for book delivery even book issue also okay and mainly it is used for when the library is far away and uh, disability people like this okay so another thing is uh, people are talking about uh, streaming technology so streaming is nothing but the video conferencing uh, library is not only the place for reading even suppose if you want to conduct any meetings or you, even if you want to present your uh, thesis okay through online mode so definitely you need video conferencing okay and video conferencing is through uh, google meet microsoft zoom cisco cisco webex etc etc even webinars a lot of webinars have been conducted through the above tools even the present okay what you are using the present uh, online webinar so which has been used by the zoom softwares just one minute <coughs> so the what about the technologies we discussed okay but uh, when you are talking about the advanced technologies there is a new technology called a digital twin okay so again this digital twin it is going to completely change when you are talking about the uh, digital twin what is really happening under the digital versions <clears throat> okay the digital version means simulations okay so even uh, today many people they come across and uh, the one thing is uh, uh, that is by scanning the qr code and paying the amount okay so about at the time of introduction so what is happening 
uh, they are scanning and paying no sound will come across okay no sound will come so at the time we don't know so whether the really the transaction has been happen or not but today so what is happening you are scanning and paying but at the same time some sound is coming this is one kind of fins okay so here payment is happen, uh, happening at the same time so how much amount of amount has been transferred or received it is coming in the form of voice message okay so similarly this is going to be happen in library also okay so whenever the students enter okay from the cctv and his informations will be captured okay and one student has been entered so at any time the librarian can see the number of people inside inside the library and the library professional they come to know number of books have been taken so in the rack everything digitalized okay if a book has been taken yes the data has been updated that become that space become back and like this if a book has been inserted that space has been filled like this so digital team is going to completely change so one of the recent uh, research uh, topic and the people if anybody interested you can choose the topics and you can do okay and this has been constructed with the four tier architecture team and you can realize what is the amount of storage available calculation analysis and visualization of complete library each and every rooms whether the person is there or not if the book is there or not like this okay even enable the fine management and the intelligent decision making of the okay library okay so this uh, digital uh, twin technologies which is going to promote the design of new library and this information so whatever the digital you can see through some visualization <clears throat> and when you are talking about outward, uh, advanced technologies even uh, uh, in the webinar itself i saw some of the topics like uh, library management uh, topics uh, reference management topics uh, uh, and library management tools etc etc <clears throat> in the similar manner so we can provide remote reference services okay how we can provide through robo so robo can be used robo what it will do it will locate the books where the book is available okay find the books even if we take the human okay and they can check uh, so they have to go rack by rack okay rack by rack and I suppose even he uh, he could not able to locate and he will say that so sir i could not able to find the book in the proper lo locations but the book may be misplaced somewhere but if you incorporate layer the robo it will scan all the racks etc etc and it will find the books where the book is exactly or whether it is misplaced etc okay and uh, telepresence robots they allow the librarians to provide reference services for the remote users who cannot able to come and visit the libraries like <clears throat> okay so you collected a lot of information a lot of documents and you installed so many software so many technologies etc etc whether uh, whether they are safe okay if something happened how to recover okay if uh, hackers hacking okay how to protect how to protect your resources how to protect the members okay uh, how to protect the best services okay if virus occurred if hackers center all the services will be stuck so in this case you should also consider the cyber security so you have to consider uh, installing firewalls okay so firewall can be, be uh, in front of your server okay and it protect whatever the network you established in the library and whatever the application servers you installed in the library and various desktop and users mobiles etc etc all will be <coughs> protected by the cyber security and even biometric technologies so you installed a fingerprint devices everywhere okay so whatever the information they are capturing and transfer to the server okay and even in some places they are logging through 
okay that is a uh, uh, every time they have to log in so uh, say in one place log in and another place log in even in some cases you can see in one place they have to show their id card another place like that they have to show each and every one how we can avoid so by providing digital identity and single sign on facilities so when you are talking about a biometric and the people come to know that only one or two devices that is a fingerprint and a, a face <coughs> detection and in some places people come to know that uh, voice recognition so even some of the movies you can say based on the voice the door will be open etc but there are two more uh, advanced uh, technology one is called dna sequencing and another one is the vein patterns okay so this may be used in some other purpose but they can provide uh, better security technology <clears throat> and uh, today people are talking about uh, social networks so through social network the information has been reached in a faster manner very faster manner okay so in this case uh, if you integrate these social networks along with your library websites definitely whatever the information you want to send to the library users and you can effectively send okay that is delivery through multiple channels so channel means say maybe twitter is one channel okay instagram is one channel facebook whatsapp like this so these are other channels and uh, users are coming from uh, different different channels some people are having a twitter account some people not having twitter but they have facebook accounts so as a library the website they have lot of apis are available you can download the apis and integrate with the web server once we integrate whatever the informations okay they can deliver through uh, various uh, channels like um, uh, twitter instagram facebook youtube and uh, even uh, informations can be delivered through drones like this <clears throat> okay so so far we had a discussions about uh, various technologies even uh, servers applications desktop etc etc and how these devices are going to connect okay all the devices are going to connect through whatever the web server desktop smartphone 3d printers even rfid devices biometric devices iot devices okay all everything it's going to be connected through network when you're talking about network we can say it is a wired or wireless okay so today people are talking about 5g okay so this is one of the most popular uh, that is a mobile network that is evolved from 3g 4g and 5g like this so in addition to some of the things like uh, grammarly so today libraries are uh, started to use uh, grammar and uh, this is nothing but one of the tool to eliminate grammatical errors and other things when they are writing thesis or research papers or a project etc etc so this should be integrated with the website and another one is people are talking about the plagiarism okay you know about what is the plagiarism and we have to avoid the plagiarism by incorporating the plagiarism software okay uh, in uh, your library web pages like this okay and whatever the technology servers applications everything now it's coming under electronic resource management okay and electronic that is erm again it's nothing but the automation software okay so which can be uh, installed in the library and it can be used to trace the collections e collections okay digital collections and how to access the server and how to authorize the users and how routinely we have to uh, maintain the servers okay and what is the usage okay when the usage is more when the usage is less and evaluations okay so uh, after introduction of 5g how the techno the, the uh, library usage is increased or decreased or more people come like that that is evaluation even reservation okay so if a book is available only one copy and we can reserve and take it and a selection of library information resources etc everything have been 
maintained by the electronic resource management software or in so some cases we can say it is called library management software and the people come to know that uh, the uh, most famous that is a uh, lipsis nowadays lipsis are available in the cloud format even koha is available it's a open source software and uh, you can download and uh, it should be properly configured when you are talking about a uh, koha software so you have to download and you need a server and you need a domain name okay and it should be properly configured and it should be linked with the various etc etc like a circulation module accusation journal members module and uh, enable dashboard notification and it should be properly updated every times like this there are a lot of diverse library management software available so people are talking about only one things that is koha and but if you take uh, library management uh, that is code arch library sap g library e library and uh, slims libro okay and uh, southron destiny accessity opals koha and in addition to that the list is keep on increasing there are a lot of softwares are available and it is not at all possible to become familiar in all softwares okay and you should be familiar with the various library activities like uh, in the previous slides i have told okay various activities like circulation accusation journals and how these modules have been available in these softwares okay so and how to uh, access this software everything you are supposed to know this information so this is what some information is about uh, that is a library okay library library management software and what are all the technologies have been uh, incorporated uh, in the library management uh, software uh, etc etc okay so next uh, i'll move into uh, the um, um, the most famous one is that is called uh, website creation and uh, website creation when you are talking about the website creation it, this is additional job to the library professionals okay so this is purely your interest okay again it is it's a kind of uh, some programming approach okay and but nowadays a lot of tools are available ready made available and you have to go and you can register and some templates are available okay you can just uh, access the template you can modify the templates and you can insert your data okay and make it available and this is called uh, personal website but uh, personal websites which is available uh, in whatever the backend available in that name only available maybe uh, your name followed by or a google followed by your name like this okay so not like like the, uh, like that say for example if you take a pondicherry university website that is a pondinui.edu.in so this will this will not be available or uh, they are not uh, that is free software they are not provide this kind of facility okay like this so when you are talking about a library web server so normally when you are saying uh, server uh, this is nothing but the hardware the combination of the hardware and software okay so web server means software means uh, you are supposed to know that is a internet information uh, server which is a windows product and apache which is coming under a linux product and there are some uh, third party softwares are available that is zamp this is nothing but a uh, windows uh, zamp is for the windows that is windows apache mysql uh, php like that so it is a combination of okay this is freely available and uh, you can uh, download and install on your uh, windows 10 pc or uh, servers okay so the moment uh, install and the moment if you move whatever the information you want to show your uh, uh, library users that information may be provided okay and the moment you move and after that students can access the information that is windows based that is zamp server and another one is called the lamp that is a linux based linux apache okay I like that so these are these are the famous softwares are available and when you are talking about the domain names okay so domain name there are uh, you have to purchase okay uh, and uh, you will not get any domain name at free of cost 
okay uh, for short time period even when you are going to conduct any uh, conference or small uh, webinars okay what you have to do you have to approach some private and uh, you may ask so in this uh, this is the domain name we want and uh, they will charge and uh, they will create that is the uh, server they will allocate a uh, server some space and the server has, has been uh, configured according to your domain name like that and when you are talking about the uh, web page when uh, web, web contents okay this is completely okay you can see that is html formats or xml formats and uh, whatever the um, audio video everything's embedded in the html's and whatever the documents pdf even ppts xls files etc the other files everything they are called as a lot of documents and again these documents are embedded in some html formats in a similar manner whatever the e resources which includes okay and the e lectures e assignments e thesis everything okay so you have to move and there is a page that page integrate the audio file or a video file everything and put it in a one formats okay and there are some content management tools are available and these tools could be installed on your client machines okay and using these tools you can access whatever the pages available in the web server and you can access and you can modify small small changes uh, uh, you can modify you can change the pictures okay you can uh, do small error correction like this or you can create a page and move into the servers like this so these are all not, nothing but the content management tools so these tools may be available in the server side or in the client side so using these tools you can create the content you can modify the contents you can uh, update or you can remove the contents etc so content management tools like this okay and uh, another thing is when you are talking about a uh, web server uh, sir uh, i am using a, so many people are asking asking sir uh, i am using a windows 10 okay and could we convert that windows 10 into web server yes it is possible uh, the simple thing is so what you have to do even uh, now you are uh, listening my lectures uh, parallelly you can able to do the thing is uh, once installation after that it it could be restarted but if i restart everything will be collapsed <laughs> the connectivity uh, what is the lectures everything will be collapsed okay uh, the users if any users is interested what you have to do you can try in your computer you can try and test whether it could be uh, 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 you, you can able to uh, convert your desktop as a web server okay the simple things there is press control r okay one thing is or you can go to control panel in the control panel uh, you can see that is application add programs remove programs everything is available okay you go there and you can see there is a turn off windows features in that feature you can see that is internet information service okay you click it and enable okay it will take minimum 2 to 3 minutes that installation will go okay after that that i net bub so one directory will be created in the c drive okay after that one directory will be created in the c drive once created now your desktop is ready to act as a web server okay your desktop is ready to act as a web server so of course you know that is whenever you installed any software you updated that's a window environments will ask you to restart the computer you can restart again you can't realize anything sir what is it uh, whatever the instruction you told i tried after that uh, uh, I did not find anything. Yes. Okay. Now the server is ready. After that, you have to move the web pages. Okay. And uh, even a web page to create the web page, sir, uh, I have much more uh, knowledge. Uh, what, sir? Uh, how can I create my uh, website? But today, if you take uh, that is uh, MS Office software, that is MS Word software okay so these are if you know much more knowledge in ms office ms okay work using this word file 
okay you can create whatever the information and save as a web page okay save this information after that you move this page into the server part where you want to move if you move then you can access the informations through the server mode so suppose if you are uh, in the same classroom okay even one of the laptop may be configured and you can ask your friends to access within the same environments not outside okay outside means you need a domain name and whatever the ip available ip address available that could not be accessed outside the environments okay this information i can just explain what you have to do okay so i told that is a launch section that is windows controller you just go to controller uh, everybody could be able to see my desktop dear participants could be able to see my desktop yes sir yes okay could you able to see that is if you press uh, control r one window has been open that is cmd there you can type okay that is app app dot cpl okay if you, this is the command to open add remove the features available in the control panel now could you able to see these are the software has been available okay and in the left side could you able to see turn okay windows feature on or off so here if you click and you can see you can see you, slide slide only slide sir yes sir yeah okay it will come a little bit uh, uh, delay okay uh, suppose if you already install this black will be available if you already configured or if you already enabled iis this black will be available otherwise this will be a blank so as a user what you have to do you go and click it okay then press okay that installation will go for 2 to 3 minutes so once the installation is over then what it will be uh, once installation over and uh, after that if you see click go to uh, this pc and you can able to see in windows you can see this is the directory will be created before that it will not be available if anybody trying keep on trying what you have to do you can check it so before that this will not be available okay after enabling that ias this will come actually this is the web server okay and whatever the information you want to put everything you create and move into that's ww root so here only you have to move it okay and this is the first way which has been automatically created okay and how to access this information so very simple you can go to any one okay uh you can open any one and uh, if you are supposed to know the ip address of this machine okay that is one or otherwise you can simply type local host l o c k c a l h o so this is nothing but local host whatever suppose if uh, uh what is it uh, web server is installed okay you can access the information through by typing this one through your browser local host if you type this information will be come so that means now your desktop has been configured as a internet information server that is iis server that is web server okay after that one will what are the informations then this could be accessed say for example this is the website okay now i want to move one information to the here you take any one informations say for example i am moving from some informations maybe the flyer of this information this seminar you just copy okay and go to c drive inet bub ww root okay so here you can paste 
so normally this is the web server you are going to use for other purpose so definitely it may ask permission okay it will ask permission so you have to give permission you move okay so now what you have to this is the zip files you just uh, rename into some other name maybe sir, excuse me hello yes yes sir are you showing something live sir on accept What, the this slide sir accept this slide are you are you showing something yes i am showing that is a demonstration but but the screen is not visible sir we are only getting your slide sir oh sorry sorry just a minute uh, wait wait this, uh, that's what initially asked could you able to see something uh, just a minute wait wait sorry uh, the participants okay i think that need, that tab need to be shared yes yes okay yes Uh, now could you able to see share no sir no wait wait oh share mute Are able to see my PPT sharing mode? Yeah, PPT is coming, sir. PPT is coming. Suppose yeah. if you are moving to another one, this is one word file. Could you able to see this one? No, no sir. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, there's some issue. I'll check it. Sir, minimize this file, sir. Minimize the PPT. Just I'll do it, sir. Sir, you have to share. I think whole screen, sir. Oh, I'll do it, sir. There is a new sh resume sharing. Okay. After that, uh, stop sharing. Put on the stop security questions. Stop it. Permission like that? No, I will not share. No, no, no. Okay, I will put it on. Sir, please reshare your screen, sir. It's sir. I'll do it, sir. I'll do it. Sir. Share. Enter screen. Okay. Share. Enter screen. Okay. Share. Uh, basic or advanced? Advanced positions. Computer video. The entire screen. Screen. Ah, uh, entire screen is not visible to me. That is that's what I am. So now I am going. So at the bottom I am going. There is a share screen. Am I correct? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, share screen. After that, there is a share button is available uh, and screen share. Yes. Now it's yes, yes. Now it, now it's now it's coming. Now it's coming, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, oh, now it's coming. Okay. I'll repeat uh, whatever the information I have told. After that. Uh, that is uh, installed uh, the install IIS on Windows 10, okay? Or how you can convert your Windows uh, 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 desktop, okay? Windows based desktop into a server. So this is the steps I have told. So just you go to uh, uh, that is um, uh, that is a start menu, okay? And you have to type application wizard. Okay, after that, you can see the Windows features. Okay, then you can check whether IAS has been installed or not. Okay, and uh, one thing is you can go to control panel, that is one option. Okay, you go to control panel and you can check uh, the programs. Okay, so this is one option, or otherwise, so what you have to do, you go there, that is Windows R. Okay. 
and type app viz wizard.cpl if you type you can able to see so all could be able to see this windows okay yes, anyone sir. ah yes, yes you can able to see and you can yes. see there is a one option called the turn windows features on or off you click it yes. okay if you click you can see okay so this window this pop up will, window will come if you are doing first time so this portions will be like this if you are doing the bus time you have to click it okay then you press okay okay and after that the ias will be installed so after installation you can able to see there is one uh, folder called inet bub this will be not available before installing ias so after installation this will come automatically could able to see inet bub and in inet bub yes, you yes, can sir. see yes, sir. yeah in inet bub you can see ww root so whatever the informations all whatever the information you want to share to the members you want to convey and you want to convert it into pages okay that uh, pages may be created and put it here okay so now the serv server is ready now the thing is you have to move the data okay you have to move the web pages and you create web pages using somewhere and you can transfer here and you just inform your uh, staff to access the information by sharing the ip address of this machine or name of the computer okay so i can tell you how to find the ip address of this machine so if you type ipconfig it will say so this is the ip address 10.10.17.174 could able to see yes sir yes so now what you have to do you can go any you, you can open any one browsers okay so this is the browser okay and you open any one okay and type it normally it should be typed http colon double slash 10 dot 10 dot okay 17 dot 74 if you type it will come okay that is one option then after that i moved one information that is pu okay this is available in jpeg format okay if you know normally the informations they, we don't know almost all informations will be available in the ias uh, in uh, after that from ias you have to give a link if you give link to this one then this page will be open no. automatically or otherwise you can see see for example this is one and second one is for example sir i don't know much more about knowledge okay i don't know much more about knowledge and i some somewhat i i want some information okay uh, i'll do it you are to be more okay so this is uh, some information about uh, myself and what you have to this information could be okay and this could be converted into web page or how to convert into web page and even nowadays i found uh, most of the people they are struggling uh, converting uh, documents into pdf formats but, but the, the answer is available in the word itself okay if you save as document file it will be save as a document the same file if you save as a pdf it will save say for example i can say okay alt f and save save as the file okay and desktop so i already put that is a palani vale k pondicherry university the same file i want to save as maybe pu in the form of pdf if you choose pdf then that same informations will be available as a pdf okay now you could be able to see this is the pdf which can be viewed by pu 
okay and this information is available in the desktop pu is available where is it so this is the information available in pdf so what do you have to this pdf you, you want to share with the people you just copy the file and move into here paste so it may ask you permission yes which is available okay so now what do you have to do ias if you give slash pu pdf okay that file will be come you can able to open through this services okay and this is the simplest method very basic methods in the similar manner what you have to do so this is the file okay so this is the information the same information i want to convert into html formats altf save as okay again you go to the desktop the same information maybe you put k palani okay in different names and you have to choose the web format okay you have to choose the web page web page formats click it now the informations will be available as a web page formats and save it okay so now the same content is available in the web page formats so where the file is stored where i store this file is available in the desktop you go to the desktop and find out where the file names files are available so k palani and associated files this is the files now you copy the file and go to c drive inet bub ww root and put it here so it is asking permission i just skip it okay okay so the now the file is available in the name of k palani so how did you access this pu this way pdf in the same manner what is the name available the name is available as a html and you can check what is the name of the file so which is available in the name of the file is available in htm okay htm again you go to the web server okay uh, where is it uh, here and you saw a pdf okay so the pdf files here it's available uh, okay said so you go http colon 10.10.16.17 dot 10 dot dot four then followed by k palani p a l a n i dot h t m if you type that page will open automatically so which is roaming some i found some error so i have to find out what is the error uh, i don't know whether it is maybe uh, while copying some files uh, it shows some error message i simply skip it okay uh, that may, that may be some of the reasons okay again it's not coming okay so uh, the, in this way we can uh create files in one place and move to the other place and made it available in one as the continuation you can see when you are talking about a domain name of course i already uh, told domain name uh, you have to purchase and in india yarnet is the uh, in charge for uh, providing domain name uh, you have to approach yarnet and you have to submit your application and you have to pay the fee for 5 years or 10 years after that you will get the domain name and uh, after getting the domain name and you have to purchase a server 
and a server should be converted into IAS that is a configured as a internet information server and they should integrate that is domain name and this one you have to integrate these two okay then if you configure then that name will be available like IIS that is one after that what you have to do uh, using uh, you can create your website uh, you, you can visit even uh, some free website you have to create the website uh, whatever the login ID provided okay you just sign up and create the website and uh, customize the website uh, after that you just copy the information so uh, you will give links uh, wherever the links everything you give the links and uh, whatever the information you want to incorporate so like uh, designs even uh, charts okay social network and uh, you can provide a search facility everything you can provide okay so you can provide okay uh, this one and um, okay then now your uh, pc or your server will become a yeah, full fledged web server comprising various web pages this is one and second one is uh, i accessed the pc through the ip address and even if you give the uh, name you can access so say for example if you take uh, the name itself how you can find the name this pc and uh, right button click properties and the properties you can see the name actually the name is available desktop this yeah so in the browser if you type this information then you can access if it is configured as a web server so the content may be accessed through this name so that is also possible that is nothing but this is the local name but internet name is that is internet domain name is something different so that is another one oh, sorry Uh, this is one and after that so what you have to do as a uh, users you have to create the page create the blog and include various category and includes contact and the privacy uh, address etc all information should be given in the page okay and regularly you have to create the page update the page modify the page um, and uh, unwanted things you just move into the archive etc and uh, there are a lot of uh, website building tools are available. The most uh, famous one and uh, very easy is that is the Google Sites. Okay. And uh, but today people are talking about Wix. Even uh, uh, Dr. Nimail also told uh, to give some information about uh, Wix. But uh, mm -hmm. the thing is, uh, Wix is uh, you have to register. And the second one is they provide a lot of uh, what is it? Um, um what is it uh, picture oriented information they are giving so the loading itself it's taking so much time when i tried it okay so even any users if they are interested what we have you have to do you just uh, uh, go to wix.com and you can register and if you try uh, you can realize so really it is taking so too much uh, so much time to loading itself so okay so in this case uh, i found uh, this is not uh, feasible to provide uh, uh, that is creation of uh, that is a website using vex but uh, what you have to do as a users you can try something but you can easily create using google sites if you have google account okay so definitely you can able to create so i can show one example after that uh, i can stop my uh, lectures and say you go to this one, what is it? Oh, 
Okay, actually, this is the website. Actually, I log in and I tried a, a small things. Okay, for the demo purpose, only few informations I have uh, given. And after that, you have to, what is it? That's so there is a, uh, what is it? Publish. If you publish, that page will come. I can show it. Okay, this is publish. Okay, if you publish, the corresponding page will be come automatically. But you see the how much amount of time is, is which is taken. Okay, and view the website. So once, uh, if you click, uh, it will be open. So that is a uh, this is the information I gave. I change. Okay, online something etc etc informations. Uh, but the name will be available like this. This is the built-in name that is kpalanivale.vixsite.com. So this is by default. Okay. So you can create and if you want, you can communicate this address to your friends, your organization, etc. This is in this way only I created my personal websites. So users can access the information like that. You can communicate to your friends, etc. Like so. This is one. And another one is what is it? Uh, so actually i have account uh, in gmail actually uh, that account is uh, that is a g suit account and even normal account you can able to create a website if you have the normal account you just first of all log in okay if you log in you can see the mail information after that could be able to see nine dots google apps could be able to see yes sir yes you click it and you can able to see there is a option called the sites okay you go to you just click sites after that it will be open okay some built-in templates are available using this i created uh, about two to three files uh, just for testing purpose so how i created there is a blank site you just click it now a yeah, blank page will be open so you type it okay webinar okay you can type and you can change etc etc okay uh, color you can modify title what is the title you can change what is the size okay you can change etc 48 and you can choose the word you can bold it okay like this okay you can give webinar and after that you have to save the sites you can you may store in the name of webinar any names even you can give your name or one two three whatever the name okay so now the information that small one page is stored in the name of webinar if you go to Google and you can able to see and where is it? are not here the, this is stored in here okay gmail Okay, I uh, sorry. I can open the world itself. Uh, Firefox from what is it? Uh, the same same login. I can tell you. Otherwise, it will take some time. Uh, sites and go to the sites 
and now you can able to see i created one page called webinar that webinar may be available here okay that webinar is available with the name <coughs> if you click that page will be displayed and th this is the uh, information so you want to share with your colleagues or your friends so this is my page kindly access and this page this uh, link could be customized okay so that information i can tell later or or after the the same webinar is over i can give how to change etc etc uh, definitely i can tell even you can create uh, multiple pages and for each pages you can give small link okay a uh, link like this what is it page like you can create your qualification your research experience what are the lectures what are the project guidance and uh, you you create this is one file this is one file all are different different files and here you have to give the link if you give the link and whatever the page is available that should be connected to this files on the similar way i created okay so this is another page and if you click that link that will come automatically okay so this is one format i created and another format this is one more i shown Somewhere, uh, I, I sorry, I uh, somewhere I stored. <laughs> I was not able to uh, see. And uh, actually, uh, through Google sites nowadays, uh, even many conferences uh, websites have been created using Google site in simple manner. The thing is, so you bring all informations in word formats, okay? And wherever you want, you just do just cut and paste. You copy and paste it here, okay? Simple. you paste it here suppose here you want some information that's all we can add it okay so in this way we can create but uh, due to uh, not available at of time uh, i could not able to uh, go beyond this uh, level uh, but uh, somewhat uh, i have touched uh, so much of informations uh, related to uh, website uh, 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 that is technologies uh, which can we could be incorporated in the website okay and uh, incorporated with the servers uh, which should be linked with uh, database etc etc whatever the technologies in future so all these technologies is going to be in, uh, incorporated okay so because of this integration you can able to see the uh, augmented reality virtual reality or video conferencing Uh, or any even uh, mobility even simulation okay so because the data is available in different different places okay and the web server is the server which is going to integrate all here and uh, uh, show that is uh, show to the users through some browsers etc like this okay so this is what uh, some informations about uh, uh, my today topic and uh, i can stop now and if you want to ask any questions uh, you can ask there is uh, no issue thank you sir for your uh, nice and uh, informative and uh, hands on practical session now participants are requested to uh, ask the question raise the question or put your question on the chat box the participants you can ask any questions so there is no issue i can answer any questions Okay. Not yet received any question from the participants. Well, if you want to raise your voice, then you can do. Yeah, participants 
or raise your hands. Dear participants, all are allowed to unmute uh, yourself. You can ask the question. Sir, very nice section, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. And uh, whatever I discussed, uh, various technologies, actually, uh, actually these uh, technologies only is going to change the next generation uh, libraries. So even if you want to do any research, okay, even uh, nowadays many people are struggling, even many people are coming and forwarding, sorry, in which area I have to do my research, okay? And in all areas, whatever the areas I told, in all areas, you can find a small problem and you can, uh, what is it? You, and you can project as a new research. Even if you uh, propose any small idea that is a digital twin enabled library, I think uh, you can't see much more information. So this is a new area. So this, uh, this is widely used in uh, even medicine, even uh, education, even uh, agriculture, okay? They are applying. So from sitting here, you can see. And why it's come to my idea, actually even in the library, uh, sometimes one of the uh, staff asked, hey, sir, actually many students are coming and going, but some students, I don't know where they are saying, simply sleeping. So after closing only, we come to know that uh, uh, some students were inside. Okay, so how you can avoid this kind of situation? Uh, when I when they told at the time I come across. So if you install this kind of uh, information, so at the entrance there will be a dashboard and who are all going, who are all entering and going out. All informations will be stored, so you can see. So if 100 students enter, yes, if 100 students out, if no means some students somewhere. Like that, such kind of informations will be, you can see. So this is one small example. And you can introduce, I see a new model for the, as, as a research topic, like that. Thank you, sir. We need uh, your help. Uh, definitely, I'm ready to help in terms of technology based, even if you take any topic, I am ready to help. You can approach me. And if you want, I can share my details or even uh, you, you may approach through Dr. Nimal Chand sir, Shaga sir. Always welcome, there is no issue. I can help you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. So this is actually, uh, that is why we are organizing this kind of program. Uh, I particularly believe that the library professionals and the ICT professionals now, the society, we need to join together, we need to do together for catering services to the uh, society people because we are not uh, aware, much aware about technology like you and you may not be aware about the requirement of the public and the society so that we need to have a uh, compromising platform so that we will exchange our views, we will give you input, accordingly we will process it, then you will give us output and we will cater it to the uh, society. And that's why we are doing these things. And uh, Dr. Palanivel, what I am saying that uh, as I found you in the G20 stage, and here I don't found any difference, but the thing is that there you could not have been allowed to go at uh, this 90 minutes only. There you are just 15 to 17 minutes. At uh, that time, I'm not just, I'm just have your tailor. And here I am just having your little big tailor, <laughs> not the full picture. So it's in next course of action, I will see and I will take your uh, share as Dr. Simachalam uh, said, I'm fully agreed with him uh, because we need to do many things to make compatible us for the current requirement of the society. So for this, we need to be in touch with you in future course of action. And I, on behalf of this already, very much thankful and uh, grateful to you for accepting our invitation and in, enlightening with your thought-provoking technological ideas. I think this will give insights to our participants and of course to all of us. And I do request on behalf of the participants do share your PPT so that we will share it to the, uh, to the uh, participants through our WhatsApp group or mail. 
and I think afterwards, if they need any help, and I what I picked up you from the G20 library, G20 seminar stage, that you are also a man who is having open access, open approach. You are not a close man, you are not a close, and you are not a licensed man. And if it would have been, then you could not agree with me to deliver lecture over here. So I salute your attitude, I salute your simplicity, I salute your knowledge level, and uh, this kind of things and this type of particular persons we need to our current society. So thank you very much, Dr. Kalanijal, on behalf of the Shorty Library Network. So thank you. Stay safe. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, definitely, I can share the PPT through WhatsApp and uh, okay. And whoever it is asking the participants, you can share. There is no issue. And uh, even uh, after that, even if anybody come forward regarding uh, to do the research uh, right. using technology based, okay. So even I am ready to help uh, through whatever the mode. I am ready to help. There is no issue uh, until completion. I am ready to help you. There is no issue. Definitely. And, uh, and I hope one more thing, you will not object if we upload this record in the YouTube channel, recording of the, in our library, we have one YouTube channel. Because yes. as you know, this real time, many people may not be able to give your valid lecture. Considering the need of the society, we are having one library YouTube channel. And in the channel, we will upload all the sessions. And that is very popular channel. And that is very popular to, to market uh, your knowledge as well as to satisfy the societal need. So I think you will agree with us and you will allow us to upload this video in the YouTube channel too. Okay. Okay. And I'll share the link with you also. Once it is uploaded, I'll share the link with you. So nice to meet you virtually and wait again to meet you physically again. Let's when scope will come. Okay. So thank you very much. Most welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The other uh, sir, uh, sir, yeah, my colleague Dr. Thank Das and uh, my another colleague Dr. A.K. Sarma. They are here to join the organizing this event and they are the backbone and pillar of this online program. I am just coming and going, coming and going, but they are here to make the program a success and offering the program to the participant. So yes. they are uh, 24 hours over here. And I have some technical team like Dr. Jishnu Mondal, he is also here and some other assistive staff uh, to help us to organize this program, like your program, I bear with him, some backend stuff. Without backend stuff, front end, front stuff will not work in any moment. So we have a lot of Front end stuff and have a nice day. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you all. Day. Thank you all the participants. So, dear participants, uh, tomorrow we have the another session, important session. Uh, we will be lectured by Dr. Novi Hassan, Librarian IIT Delhi, New Delhi, and on the topic MOOCs and open educational resources. Please join in time. He is very much punctual and uh, he, if we let, then he will leave. Uh, we have the better experience earlier. So uh, please join uh, in time. Uh, otherwise, uh, we will be in trouble. And uh, you also request to join the same link. Link will be, remain same. And another thing, next speaker on the uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow from 12 p.m. to 1.30, Dr. Ujjal Masjid, uh, uh, information uh, system in charge, C uh, CIRM, University of uh, Kalani, uh, West Bengal, on the topic of AI tools for academic research. So we have received the uh, all tentative program schedule. So you also know about the details. And also uh, in the last session tomorrow, we have the another uh, reputed resource person from Kalani University, Dr. Partho Sarathi Mukhavata. You know all of you. and. Uh, he will give an uh, important lecture on the data carpentry and AI ML for libraries. So these three uh, resource person will give their valuable uh, uh, lecture on the different important topics. Please uh, join in time. Thank you very much. So uh, Dr. Palmeidel, with your permission, let us close our today's meeting. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very well.